There was once a king called Acrisius. He was the king of Argos. He had a young daughter called Danae. She was growing up and the king was growing old. One day, King Acrisius decided to ask the Pythia how long he would live for. She told him that in the future, the son of his daughter would cause his death. In order to prevent this prophecy coming true, he locked his young daughter away in a prison made of brass. This way she would never be able to marry and have a son that would cause his demise. Now we will see that the Pythia does not always tell the truth, he said. Danae was kept shut up in the prison of brass. She had no one to talk to but her old nurse. She never saw the land or the sea, but only the blue sky above the open window, and now and then a white cloud sailing across. Day after day she sat under the window and wondered why her father kept her in that lonely place, and whether he would ever come and take her out. Time passed by and Danae grew fairer every day and by and by she was no longer a child but a tall and beautiful woman. The god Zeus amid the clouds looked down, saw her and fell in love with her. The brass prison was made so well that even Zeus couldn't enter. He desperately wanted to be with Danae and so he transformed into a shower of gold and cascaded through the open window. Once inside the brass prison, he transformed into a handsome young man. They had a son and called him Perseus, but unfortunately Zeus had to leave and go back to his home with the other gods in the sky. Danae's father once again began to worry that the Pythia's prophecy would come true. So worried that his life would be ended by Perseus, King Acrisius decided to put Danae and Perseus into a wooden chest and cast them out to sea. The king thought that if they died together, the prophecy couldn't come true. But they didn't die. After several days at sea, they drifted ashore on a distant island called Seraphus and were found by a kind fisherman who sheltered and cared for them for many years. However, the king of Seraphus, Polydectus, fell in love with Danae and begged her to marry him. He was ugly and had bad breath. Danae refused to marry him. King Polydectus continued to ask for the hand of Danae until one day Perseus had had enough and told the king to leave his mother alone. He agreed, but only if Perseus could fulfil his challenge. Okay, everybody, this, these are the four questions for the first chapter, The Brass Prison. I'll leave you answering those and then I'll come back tomorrow and read you the second chapter.